Today in Washington. Following the announcement of the victory of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in the 10th round of presidential elections in Iran and the unrest that has followed it, U.S. officials expressed their doubts and concerns about the situation. U.S. Vice President Joseph Biden, in an interview with NBC yesterday, felt, quote, real doubts surrounding the staging of the election. Biden said, quote, there's an awful lot of questions about how this election was run. It sure looks like the way they are suppressing speech, that they're suppressing crowds, the way in which people are being treated, that there are some real doubts about that. Biden added that taking into consideration that over 70 percent of the ballots in Iran are cast in metropolitan areas, it, quote, seems unlikely that Ahmadinejad has won over 60 percent of the votes. He explained, quote, we are waiting to see. We don't have enough facts to make a firm judgment. He concluded by saying that notwithstanding the, quote, contested election results, the U.S. will continue to pursue talks with Iran because the interests of the U.S. remain, quote, the same as before the election as after the election. The U.S. will continue to try to persuade Iran to, quote, cease from seeking a nuclear weapon and to, quote, stop supporting terror, Biden said, adding that talks with Iran, quote, are not a reward for good behavior. Earlier, the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton reacted to agency reports of Ahmadinejad's victory by saying, quote, we hope that the outcome reflects the genuine will and desire of the Iranian people. At the same time, Robert Gibbs, White House spokesperson, said, quote, like the rest of the world, we are impressed by the vigorous debate and enthusiasm this election generated, particularly among young Iranians. But he added, quote, we continue to monitor the entire situation closely, including reports of irregularities. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.